Hi, welcome back to OD YouTube channel and today we are here for another unboxing. I know, I know I'm not I I'm not being I'm not publishing as many videos as I would like to. But things are a little rough here now and I don't really have the time and sometimes the mood to do it. Sorry about that, but I'm trying hard to get a little bit more of content to you. So today I have here a very special unboxing and this is a pen that came from this store Stilo Estile which is a store from Italy and I bought an Italian pen from them. It is mostly yellow but I don't have really a yellow Victorinox knife but I have this one which is almost yellow and that's what I will use to open the package. And now let's see what I have here. So I like this blade a lot. It's very good to do this. And then you see, it's kind of the perfect blade. Let me open it, take out the invoice because it has addresses and stuff and protective stuff also and we have here a little card from Stilo Estile with information I'm not sure if this is correctly exposed I'm still getting used to my new phone so I'm not sure this is their logo and we have a green box there and there must be something beneath yes there is let me take this out of the way first because this is less exciting i would say it is caught in the bottom okay so just to passport size travelers notebook um notebooks from <clears throat> of this lightweight paper that I used to like that I sorry that I like to use in my traveler's notebook so <clears throat> sorry um, they are not it's usually not that good to buy them alone because they will get expensive with shipping and so on so I use the opportunity when I buy more expensive stuff from a store that's that has those products I buy them I buy those products from them and because of the price of the pen I get free shipping and so it's better to get those notebooks in that way just to save some money but let's talk not about saving money because I bought yes another Montegrappa pen and some years ago I I never thought I would have Montegrappa but then they started collaborate a collaboration here with the channel and I had the opportunity of having a few Montegrappa and then I bought a few and I'm really happy I really like them and I already sold some but that's another another story so this is a Montegrappa, it's written here what it is and let me show you. It is one of my pens that in my wish list. So this is a fountain pen Mia from the, the, the model, it is from the Mia model fountain pen Mnib and it is called Spice Explosion and it was in my pens, my wish list for some of the previous years because I really really wanted to have this pen. It comes inside this outer cardboard sleeve that has this cardboard box and then it has the real box with this kind of leatherette with the Monte Grappa logo engraved all over. Very, very beautiful and let's open it. <laughs> A beautiful pen. I'm really happy with this. This is the Monte Grappa Mia Spice Explosion. Beneath there should be cartridges there too. So that's nice. I can start using the pen with cartridges if I want to. If I don't, I will use the converter. 
So let's put this aside and let me show you the pen. Show you and show myself the pen because I really want to see it. Let me try to open this little Montegrappa baggie. Okay, and here I have the pen. I think that this color is really nice. It's not a real yellow or just yellow. It is like yellow with orange and white. I would say it is mostly yellow, but not only. So I, I, I can understand the way they say spice explosion because it could have some ginger and cinnamon and saffron all mixed up here it may it would make sense for the name of the pen it has this end part but it's not a piston fill it is a cartridge converter pen it unscrews and it has this section which i find very nice it, it is very narrow compared with the pen but it's very comfortable uh, even more if you hold it almost over the the threads and then let me take the cap out of the way because then the phone, the phone is focusing the cap not the pen here you have the nib medium nib this nib is beautiful it is a number six and it is a yovo nib but it is a very nice one i really like it and it has a montegrappa cartridge inside they don't have those stupid springs inside anymore so this is a beautiful pen okay now let's just talk about a little comparison with some other pens and i will move the camera down a little bit okay so i think that the exposure is a little or the, the light is a little this is a little bright let me underexpose it a little bit i think it will look no maybe it's too underexposed sorry i'm still trying to deal with this so it is underexposed but just for by a little bit so this is the spice explosion but i already have a few of these montegrappa i don't know why everything is moving because the tripod shouldn't be moving because this is all independent i'm not sure sorry okay i don't like the color of these at all i think i'm doing something wrong with exposure so sorry about that maybe it's it looks be uh, worse on the screen than in real life not sure let's forget about it this is the spice explosion i already had a few pens that i think resemble uh, resemble this pen a little bit one is the model fortuna it is somehow similar this is the fortuna mule which is made of copper it's a nice heavy pen and the fortuna is a pen that has a cap that is fatter than the barrel in this case this happens also a little bit but it, it has a different design not a very big cap band and it has that ring there and this end part so it is a little different when we unscrew this one has one of the older nibs this one is still a bock nib it is a little different let me show you it shines in a different way the kind of engraving is a little different but i really like this pen also but you can see it has some differences even the size of and the size and shape of the section oops i was doing stupid stuff so it is a little different and there is another pen that i think is very similar to this one and it is the montegrappa montegrappa and the, Mon the Montegrappa Montegrappa is a very nice pen. It has the this old logo that has 1912, like this one, instead of the newer logo. Stay there. And this pen 
as is shiny on the bottom and it is a piston filler pen and it makes noise it has this modern number six Yovo nib and it's really really a nice pen but it is a piston filler i would say that design is overall very similar even the kind of clip and so on the kind of vintage clip but it has a very different cap band and finally i have my another two monte grappa mia i wish i could have all the collection but i can't because i can't afford them I have three and it's quite good. The first one that I got was this one, the Meteor Shower that I bought from Stilo Estile also. Very beautiful, beautiful material. I really like it. The other one is the Cityscape, which is an exclusive for the store Corsani. And there were some other models. There are some models that are current models like this one and this one from Montegrappa there are more and there were some limited editions when green for example it was amazing and I didn't buy it but they are beautiful so these are really nice pens all have the same model and all have the same concept this kind of resin that shows us very beautiful color variation this pen is not as highly saturated in color as i suspected but it is more saturated than i see there in the screen and there you have the end parts which are by themselves amazing to watch this is so beautiful i really love this material so this is my new montegrappa Mia Spice Explosion, a kind of a yellow pen. And my collection of Montegrappa is increasing again uh, after it decreased a little bit because I think three Montegrappa left my collection and I still have more to sell or exchange. So this is my unboxing of today. I hope you enjoyed. I really, really like this model and this one and this one. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy this and I hope to meet you soon here on the channel. So see you soon. Bye.